Good morning, Crossroads. Mary Shinholt here. Welcome to Going Deeper Devotions. Have you ever had plans with a friend to have them over for dinner and they accept your invitation and so you plan a great menu and you go shopping and get all the ingredients and then you clean your house and then you cook a delicious dinner and then they don't show up. So disappointing. I think that we have all had experiences in our life where someone says they're going to do something and for some reason they just don't. Um, maybe they have a good reason for it and maybe they don't. But the question for us to consider today is how can I be sure that God will show up if I choose hope? In other words, if um, I decide to trust God about something, how can I be sure that I'm not going to be disappointed? Um, so let's just jump right in to today's scripture and see if we can find some answers. So today's scripture is from the second letter of Paul to the Corinthians in verse in chapter 1, beginning at verse 20. For no matter how many promises God has made, they are yes in Christ. And so through him the amen is spoken by us to the glory of God. Now it is God who makes both us and you stand firm in Christ. He anointed us, set his seal of ownership on us, and put his spirit in our hearts as a deposit, guaranteeing what is to come. All God's promises are yes and amen, it is so. Now, the reason that Paul is writing this letter to the Corinthian church was because he had planted this small church and he had stayed with them for a while. And so when he left, he promised them that on his way back from Macedonia, he would visit them again. But circumstances came up that prevented him from coming. As a matter of fact, Paul explains in the previous verses, he says, we were under such great pressure beyond our ability to endure that they really thought they were going to die. And he says, this happened that we may rely not on ourselves, but on God who raises the dead. And he did deliver us from such a deadly peril, and he will deliver us again. On him we have set our hope that he will continue to deliver us. So Paul knew that this had happened so that he'd have another story of God's faithfulness to show up. See, there were false teachers who had infiltrated this young congregation in Corinth, and they were trying to discredit Paul, to discredit his character because he didn't do what he said he was going to do. He didn't come back. And so Paul tells them, it was for your good that we didn't come because ultimately Paul was not so concerned that the people wouldn't trust him. He was more concerned that they continue to trust in God. And so that's why he tells them the story of how God rescued them and the story of God's faithfulness. See, people will let us down, but God never will. And people might say they're going to come or that they're going to do something and something might keep them from doing it. But if God says he will come, he will be right on time. And that all of God's promises are yes and amen in Christ Jesus. God always does what he says he's going to do, and he can be trusted. If you believe God's word is true, and you look in the Bible, and God says something, then you can be sure that it is true. Will it always look the way we think it should look? Probably not. But he will never let us down. And actually, all of his promises are fulfilled in Jesus. So how can we be sure that God will show up if I choose hope. We just need to look in his word. God says, I will never leave you or forsake you. I will hear your prayers. I will fight for you. I will give you peace. I will always love you. If God says it, you can believe it. But the hope that we're talking about in the Bible isn't the kind of hope that we talk about when we say, oh, I hope so. No, this hope is a knowledge of truth. When we say our hope is in Jesus, our hope is in the Lord, it's we know our trust is in 
what God says. God is faithful. Let's thank him for that today. Lord, thank you that you are a faithful God. Thank you that all of your promises are yes and amen in Christ Jesus. Help us to trust you and that like Paul, we can add our amen to the glory of God. Help us to praise you and bless you and trust you in all that we do. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, if you want a really um, good worship experience, there's a beautiful song based on this scripture called Yes and Amen. And I can put a, a, a link to it here. When we proclaim God's truth through word or song, when we, when we proclaim that word over and over, it takes up residence in our hearts. And so I'd love for you to take a look at this sometime when you have time. So thanks for tuning in and have a great day. Stay connected to Crossroads.